Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 51. Hope you've all had a wonderful start to your new year. So Firefox 51 was released on January 24th and this is the first major update in 2017. There are a few notable changes that I'm going to cover in this review. But based on my BrowserMark benchmark test that I ran, the performance of Firefox 51 has significantly improved compared to Firefox 50, at least in my case. And I'll talk a little more about this towards the end of the video. But first off, Mozilla has introduced support for FLAC playback, which is an audio format similar to MP3, but lossless, meaning that audio is compressed in FLAC without any loss in quality. This means that you can now play any FLAC file directly in Firefox. In terms of security enhancements, you will see a new warning displayed when a login page does not have a secure connection and this gray lock icon with a red strike through on the address bar. And you can click on it to get more information. Mozilla has made more improvements with their multiprocess or E10S project and if you go to about colon support, you can check to see if it is enabled. In my case, as you can see, it is and I think overall it has made a positive difference. They've added support for WebGL 2 in Firefox 51. Now, WebGL stands for Web Graphics Library. It is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D computer graphics without the need for plugins. This is WebGL 1, which most browsers use today. WebGL 2 comes with many new features, mostly focused towards increased performance and visual fidelity. When I first upgraded to Firefox 51, my WebGL was disabled, so I updated the drivers for my graphics cards and make sure to reboot your computer if you have to do the same. I also noticed that my Firefox preference for WebGL was disabled, so I changed the value to enable it and now it's working fine. To learn more about WebGL 2, check Jeff Gilbert's blog post and I will leave a link in the description section. And finally, you will notice a zoom indicator and button in your address bar. I'm currently on this Firefox website that I've zoomed in. You will notice this zoom indicator. And if you click on that button, it will reset it to the default 100%. So those were the key changes in Firefox 51. You can check the release notes for a full list of changes. I will leave a link in the description section. In terms of overall performance, I must say I'm encouraged. From the results of the BrowserMark benchmark tests on Firefox 50 and 51, as you can see, there was a significant difference. When you look closely at the results, it's mostly to do with the graphics suite and WebGL. However, overall, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox, but it's encouraging to see Firefox is getting better. Well, that's it for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.